In a candid post-game interview on Friday night, LeBron James did not mince words when addressing the Los Angeles Lakers' recent struggles after their 127-113 loss to the Memphis Grizzlies. The defeat marked the 10th loss in 13 games for the Lakers, who are currently on a four-game losing streak. Despite James' impressive 32-point performance, his frustration was evident as he faced questions from reporters. When asked about the specifics of the game, James bluntly stated, I mean, we just suck right now. This straightforward response reflected the team's growing frustration with their recent performance, raising concerns among fans and analysts alike. The game against the Grizzlies showcased the Lakers' defensive vulnerabilities, as they allowed a season-high 23 three-pointers, even against a Memphis team ranking last in the league for three-point shooting percentage. Despite being tied after the third quarter, the Lakers collapsed in the fourth, with the Grizzlies outscoring them by 14 points. Even when questioned about former Cleveland Cavaliers guard Ricky Rubio's retirement announcement, James admitted his lack of enthusiasm, attributing it to the disappointing loss. He apologized for the bad timing of the question, highlighting the team's frustration in the midst of their struggles. In contrast to James' candid remarks, Lakers head coach Darvin Ham urged people to see the bigger picture and not overly react to every game. Ham emphasized the need for the team to regain its fighting spirit, acknowledging the challenging stretch they are facing. The Lakers' recent woes contrast sharply with their earlier success in winning the in-season tournament championship on December 9 in Las Vegas. However, James dismissed the significance of the tournament, stating, that was just two games. Everybody is getting so cracked up about Vegas. It was two games. We took care of that business, but that was really just two games. The Grizzlies, led by Jaron Jackson Jr.'s 31 points, demonstrated resilience and determination in securing the victory against the struggling Lakers. Even Grizzlies head coach Taylor Jenkins made headlines when he ran onto the floor mid-game after a disputed non-call foul on James, escaping ejection and later apologizing. With a current record of 17-19, the Lakers find themselves in the 11th spot in the Western Conference. The road ahead won't be any easier, as they face the Los Angeles Clippers on Sunday, a team that has lost only two of their last 16 games. As the Lakers navigate this challenging stretch, the pressure mounts for them to rediscover their winning form and address the issues plaguing their performance.